Hey, what's up guys? So you can't get much more raw than this and uh, vloggy style than this right here. So I'm shooting this off my phone with the reverse camera, with the shattered screen, because I dropped it yesterday. But I just had a conversation with somebody uh, coming out of the gym in the parking lot. And I wanted, he, he came to me and he, you know, he, I met this kid years ago, back when I was with like, you know, 5% Rich Piana and I was just starting out and I didn't know, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do with myself in my life. I just know that Rich came to me and said, hey man, why don't you come do this? And I said, okay, you know, but let me, let me get down to the gritty of this right here. All right. This kid, I met him a long time ago, like I said, and uh, he was in medical school and he's, you know, and he's, he's, he's doing his thing. I haven't seen him or heard from him uh, in a couple of years. And sure enough, I'm in the gym uh, getting one of those uh, Robert Frank juicy as fuck arm pumps. And, um, you know, I'm walking out and he stops me, hey, Casey. And I said, hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? And we start talking a little bit. Long story short, unfortunately, this guy, this he, you know, he's a kid, man. He's a youngster. You know, he he's he's uh, he had a job back then. He's he's not working now. He's looking for work, and then you know he brings up that he uh, went and talked talked to uh, the Marines about possibly joining. Um, great, fucking a, good fucking job going in there and just even thinking about doing it. You know, and I was in the army, so uh, but still, period. Any military you join, I, I got mad respect for that. But as we start talking. There's a lot of uh, detoured things that he's bringing up. And there's a lot of uh, things that he has on his mind other than basically putting one foot in the other, front of the other and fucking doing it, you know? And so uh, I sat out there in that parking lot and uh, for about 10, 15 minutes talking to this kid and trying to shine some light on him a little bit about decisions. What's fucking stopping him? Like, what's stopping him? He, you know, he tells me... You know, I got $220 to my name right now in my wallet. Uh, I don't have work. And I said, well, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, what the fuck are you doing here? You know, you're a medical assistant already. Great. Having a hard time getting a job? Sorry. But guess what? Let me tell you this. I was there. I was. I was there, guys. <laughs> I was there at one point where I was going back and forth from different dairies, gas station, being a fucking security guard, different things, man, different things. And, and I had nothing going, nothing going for me. I, I just wasn't happy. I didn't have a career. I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do. And then, you know what? One day I said, fuck this. You know, my dad always told me like, join the army, do this or whatever. And so, and I, that was the game plan. That was always the game plan. But you know, I had a girlfriend at the time and, you know, and I was young and, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> uh that was what was on my mind, <laughs> you know, was that, that piece of ass, you know, and, uh, guess what? I'm not fucking with her now, you know, so that it wasn't love, it was, you know, you think it is, but it's not guys and it, but Hey, it could be, I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> you know, that's what was holding me back. And then one day I literally had nothing going. Uh, uh, and so I said, fuck it. I, Got myself in my truck. I drove myself to the uh, the recruiter station. I went to the Marine Corps. Sorry about my my phone. It's, I'm driving and I have it here and it's falling because it's bumpy. And I, you know, I went down to the Marine Corps, talked to those guys, hear, heard what they would offer me, what I could do, uh, and then I went to the, the the Army and they were like, "What do you want to do?" I said, "I want to be in the I want to be in the shit. I want to join the infantry." They're like, "No problem." You know, the war was going, so it was no problem and then they said do you want to jump out of planes i said hell yeah they said we'll give you x amount of money extra per month for being you know airborne qualified i said sign me up they said okay how fast do you want to leave i said as soon as you can get me out of here and the first thing they said was like well what are you running from i said i'm not running from anything i said i'm trying to run towards something <laughs> you know i have nothing going for me here really nothing they said well we can get you out of here in a week and a half i said let's fucking do it they go, okay, show up here tomorrow. We'll get the ASVAB done. Do the ASVAB. That, after the ASVAB, depending on how you score, if you pass, which you will pass because you're just trying to be a grunt. You don't have to be the smartest motherfucker. You can bang rocks together and become a grunt. We all know that. But, you know, uh, and then they said, we'll get you to MEPS. And then you, when you get to MEPS, we'll, uh, we'll get you out of here. No joke. That next day I showed up, did the ASVAB. <clears throat> easily, easily qualified to be a grunt. Uh, 
got got uh, they hit me up and said, hey, we're, we have a we have a bus heading to uh, San Jose, California, for Meps uh, in three days. He can get you on that, and then we'll get you out of here. I said, perfect. So no joke. I showed up that morning, went to fucking San Jose, did my Meps, passed everything that I needed to pass at Meps, and uh, literally they told me I'd be leaving the following week. No joke. I uh, called my mom and dad. They had no idea. Called them. Said I wanted to have dinner with them so I could talk to them about something. Went over there when I got back from San Jose. Had dinner with my mom and dad. My mom made this. Uh, yeah, you guys, this is how we were back in the day. Hamburger Helper. Bomb. Amazing shit. I miss it, mom. Make me some Hamburger Helper. My mom made Hamburger Helper a certain way, though. She made Hamburger Helper with cornbread on top. It was one of my favorite things she always made. That and her enchilada casserole are just off the hook. So I tell my mom I want, you know, I really want that for dinner. It's a special occasion. My mom goes and she makes that and we eat it. And as we're sitting there, I tell them, hey, I got something to tell you guys. And they said, what's up, son? And I said, I joined the military. My dad stands up, high flies me, he's pumped. My mom is like, the look on her face was scared. You know, the war was going, you know? But uh, she's, and then she, uh, then they asked, well, when do you leave? And what the hell are you talking about? And when did you do this, you know? So I tell them everything. I tell them everything, how it all went down. And I say, I leave next week. My mom cries. My dad, you know, obviously is worried, but is pumped, you know, because this was a game plan. Like you guys have heard me many time, me say many times, this was a game plan. And so uh, we sit there, we talk about everything, I explain everything. And uh, next that next week, my mom and dad took me to uh, the recruiting station and I headed out for basic training. And the re, I mean, and, and I had to do that. I had to do that because if I didn't fucking do that, like if I didn't say I want to go now, I'm a youngster. I'm a young guy. There's going to be things that come into my life that are going to detour me from like the end result, the end goal. Okay. So, you know, I had to do that. And let me tell you guys something. When I was in basic training, that girlfriend left me. <laughs> was I hurt? Hell yeah, I was hurt. <laughs> but that's, the, that's just the way life is. She wasn't the one that I was supposed to be with any fucking way apparently you know what I mean and so if you have a girlfriend or something like that and you're, and you're this is something you're thinking about I'm not telling you how to join the military but this is the way I was don't let something or somebody detour you from like where you're trying to go or what you're trying to be or like or if, especially if you're trying to fucking better yourself in your life man like I said I wasn't doing shit but I know that if I joined the military when I went in there and they said they're gonna give me a twenty thousand dollar bonus and I'm a you know 19 year old kid my eyes are gonna be like what because I haven't seen 20 grand ever <laughs> you know at that age so that's what happened. I went in there, I saw this, I said, okay, I can do this. And at that time, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna make this a career. Like, I, I'm gonna love this shit. And then if I got in there and I didn't like it, like I really just hated it, then hey, guess what? I, I, was, I was signed up to be in there long enough to uh, get, get, get uh, some money for the uh, post 9-11 bill and go to fucking school and go to college and then become whatever the fuck it is that I wanna become. And so, I mean, now like, that's what, that, I mean, like, it doesn't make any sense to me why people are just, they're sitting there and they're talking about, like, that how they can't get a job. There's no jobs out there. Motherfucker, there's the United States military, and they are always open, always open. And guess what? They got an unlimited amount of money. So go fucking sign up. Stop sitting there in your fucking house, not doing shit with yourself, and, and putting up a sob story about how there's nothing out there for you. You don't have no money. You can't support this. You can't support your kids. You can't support yourself. Fuck that. That's just a fucking excuse. And it pisses me off because there is no reason why. There is no reason why you can't take your ass down there and sign up and uh, uh, and start a career. Let me tell you guys something. The military, it's a fucking career. It's a fucking job. It's a, a it's a place where you get paid every fucking month and, it's, it's, and they're never going out of business, okay? They're never going out of business. And guess what else? It's a place where you have fucking medical and dental, not just for you, for your family, if you have a family, okay, so to hear the excuses of like all the bullshit that I always see on social media about money, jobs, medical care, health care, well guess what, it's your fucking fault that you don't have any of that, it's your fucking fault, because guess what, there is a place, there is a recruiter station in every goddamn city, and if there's not, there's one right next to you, and there is no reason why you shouldn't be down there signing your ass on that dotted line to better yourself, better your better your family and do something okay so I tell him this and I mean he just like is 
shocked that I'm coming at them like this because it just it frustrates me. It frustrates me. And uh, and, and 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 like I said, the number one thing I hate is fucking excuses, man, and, and pity parties. And I'm not saying he was giving me a pity party, but I wanted to like instill some like intensity in him. Be like, well, what the fuck are you doing? Because guess what, bro? That 220 bucks is gonna fucking run out. And then guess what? Now you don't. Now you're walking around here with no money in your motherfucking pocket. Okay, go fucking join. If you don't like it, guess what? You're a medical assistant already. Okay, get out. Get out. Go get out when you're done. Guess what? Now you got four years of college that's about to be paid for. And not just that, while you're in college, you're getting over three grand a month uh, into your bank account for BAH and food and living costs. Okay, so you're now you can go to school while getting paid. <laughs> now, let me rephrase that. You're in school. It's paid for. You graduate. Zero student fucking loans. Zero. Okay? Unless you decide to go on after four years and become like, you know, a bachelor's or master's or whatever it is that you do. Zero student loans. Now you can go to your fucking new job that you graduated college for and you have, <laughs> you have no student loans. So now the money that you are making, that's your fucking money. Okay? And like, like I said, and now you're at college getting paid. Fuck, man. Most people have to go to pay for their own college and pay to live on their fucking own unless you get a scholarship. And even when the kid, the guys, the kids that get the scholarships, guess what? They still have to pay rent and they still have to pay and they still have to have money. Guess what? Give up three, to, give up four years of your life. Go serve your country. Kick some fucking ass. Do some fucking good. And you're going to get paid regardless. You're gonna get paid monthly, and then if you decide you just don't wanna do it, guess what? You're still gonna get paid for it at the end of the fucking day. Your fucking new career that you really wanted to do is now paid for. Like I said, I told him, I said, dude, you're a medical assistant. You're a medical assistant. Great, go into the army. Be some type of medic of some sort. Serve four years. Uh, serve your country. Save some fucking lives. Get out, go to school to become a nurse. Now you're in a fucking registered RN, a registered nurse, and you have no student loans. Now you're sitting there at 26, 28 years old, whatever, making good fucking money and every fucking dollar that you make and every hour that you put in is going into your goddamn pocket. Y'all, it's simple shit. You know what I mean? It's simple. And I just don't understand it. Okay? So if you're listening to this, you know, think about it. Think about it. Don't let anybody, and this just goes with anything. This isn't just joining the military. This goes with anything. Think about it. Don't let don't don't mind fuck yourself for one. Don't sit there and play in your mind like, well, if I did, I, I, I don't know. I just, uh, go fucking do it. Grab your fucking balls and go fucking do it. Because guess what? You're gonna join the military and 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 what? What? You're you're gonna fucking be living better than what you were. I can tell you that. You know. And so uh, just think about it, guys. Do it. Stop. Stop wondering. Stop thinking and just fucking do it, motherfucker. Goddamn, Gary V said that last night when I was watching some shit. That that's the problem. That too many people think and not enough people do. And sometimes you just need to fucking do it, okay? And that's what I did, and guess what? I have zero regrets. I have zero regrets, okay? And so, uh, just think about it, guys. This is raw shit. I literally just got done talking to this this kid out there in that parking lot, and I hope he sees this, you know? We talk about this, but I hope he hears this and sees this again, you know? Uh, you know, the one thing he said is that he's, no, he wants to, he wants to, he's dealing with, he's dealing with a little bit of uh, being overweight, you know? He's not within standards. Guess what? That's another fucking excuse. Get your ass out there, start running. There's no need to be in there pumping iron, because guess what? If you're a bit, you want, you're getting big and muscular for the military is a good thing. It's not, because guess what? You're gonna lose all that shit, because all you do is fucking run and ruck and fucking sleep deprivation and not eat enough and everything else. So don't worry about muscles. Get your ass out there, start hitting foot to pavement, lose the fucking weight, eat right, and guess what? You can lose 20 fucking pounds in a month. It ain't hard. It's just about fucking doing it. Have a good weekend, you guys. Mad love. I love you guys. That's why I put this shit out here for y'all. So uh, this is vlog number two, and we're going to keep doing these. And uh, and I'm just putting these up as uh, as, as things come about, as, as life and just different things, man, like that pop up on me. And uh, instead of me just putting it in my head, I'm going to put it out there for you guys. So have a good weekend, y'all. Much love. Please, if there's something that you want to hear, see, or whatever, comment in the bottom, in the comment section. And you know what? Like and subscribe this. Give me a thumbs up, you guys. I'm driving, and I'm putting this out there for y'all. Much love, you guys. The One Leg Monster, I'm out.